and welcome back to the channel. On this video, we are with my friend Keith. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? Good. And Keith's got his trusty Aerial Rider Grizzly right there looking fine. And I've got the Lyric Graffiti right there. So there's the two bikes or the two riders. And where are we heading this time, Keith? I think we can go up to Bull Mountain Road and then make a right, cut through the back roads up to this little park called Sunrise Park. Sunrise Park, how uh, appropriate in the early morning. Yeah. We're gonna, we're probably gonna be gone before the sun rises, but that's fine. So we're leaving the corner of Elsner and Roy Rogers Road, and we're heading to Sunrise Park Sunrise. in Tigard. Wait a second, you got something on your tire, a little rock. A little rock. They get caught up in there. Uh, I, I guess it wanted to rock and roll with your tires. So this road definitely has a little more traffic, I see. Even though it's early morning. What do you think the temperature is out here? I'm, I'm going to guess, what, high 30s? It's low? not much over 40 right now. Yeah. If it is above 40, it's probably right around 40. Yeah. It's cold out here. We're going to freeze. So we are cold on this ride, and we're heading on this... 55 mile per hour highway riding on the shoulder slash bike lane the one thing I always worry about uh, with riding in the shoulder is debris and I just heard Keith run something over definitely foggy out here right now so we're recording this video on Sunday morning, it's about 6.20 in the morning. And uh, foggy and very cool. As we were mentioning, the temperature is right around 40 degrees right now. So definitely a chill in the air. And when you're riding the bike, it's even that much colder. So we're coming up to Beef Bend Road. And we're going to be, I better get this green light while it's green. I don't think it's going to change before I get there. And we're heading up to the next road here, which will be the one we're going to be turning right on. And that's Beef, uh, Bull Mountain, I should say. And speaking of mountains, we're going up a pretty good hill right now. The colder temperature definitely puts a strain on your battery. I already saw my battery going into the red, but once I let off the accelerator, it comes back. But I did leave with a full charge. So uh, definitely lose some though when it's this cold outside.
Oh yeah, I forgot we were going to the Sunrise Park, so we turned down a different street. I'm going to get over into the regular lane. There's no cars around right now. It's a roundabout right here. It's really nice to be riding with no cars or very few out at this time of the day. It makes it so much easier for us bikers to uh, ride without having any worries of traffic and dealing with all that. We kind of own the road, if you will. Oh, we're going down a steep hill right here. Big drop off right here. And then we're going to go up. There's some massive hills around here. It's a massive hill right here. And the worst thing is, okay, is that you get a stop sign in the middle of it, and then you got to go up a really steep, short, steep one. You kind of lose your momentum, you know, when you're. Oh, my bike just cut out on me. I think the battery. Not sure what happened there, but let me get going again. Change batteries. Yeah, my battery, uh, <laughs> you switch it out? So I switched batteries. I don't know, it drains pretty quick, but I don't think it drained all the way, but I shut it off, it can charge itself back up. Okay. Yeah, I think the cold air really... It zaps your battery quicker, doesn't it? I'm down to 67%, like... Wow. Yeah, it's just going this hill. All right. Well, this has regen braking, which is nice, so it does put the juice back in the battery. I guess the one benefit to having two batteries is if you lose juice in the one battery, you always can switch over to the other one. So when you're doing a ride, you make sure you're on your return and get a little bit on your return from where you're going. Before you switch batteries, you'll know how much you have left to get all the way home and then not be uh, running completely out of battery. But well, some of the hills here are massive yeah. mountains. Bull yeah, Bull Mountain for sure. Yeah, you can't tell in the video. You can never tell. Long hill, this one.
If you live anywhere in this area and you want a place to test out your bike for uh, hill climbing, this is the place to go. We're crossing Bull Mountain right now. Sunrise Park. <laughs> you know, I've I've come up here once before, and went along here. Okay. And I think it's kind of somewhere in here, but I don't know if it's just a little. Like I don't know exactly where it is. I think now that I remember, now that we got up here, I do remember being here before. And I rode down there, where that vehicle is down there before, up and down here trying to find it. Huh. What they're turning it into this. What is it, a pump station or something? Yeah, unless... I wonder if that's... It used to be a park, but not... Yeah, I wonder if it used to be in the... the uh, they need to change the map. Yeah. Call it uh, something else. But it's an awesome place. Otherwise, look at how high up you are. Yeah, no wonder right it's... The they called it Sunrise. It's pretty cool. We're up uh, quite, a, quite a bit in elevation here. Top of Bull Mountain Road. Well, we passed over Bull Mountain Road. Yeah. We're down to the side street. All right, well, and then down there, I don't know where that goes. Um, it's got a, a roadblock sign. Just back to some neighborhood. Yeah, go down, around. It's a nice house here. Yeah, expensive. The rich people live here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we made it from the corner of uh, Elsner and Roy Rogers Road here to Sunrise Park, and the park is somewhere here, but looks like the park is now defunct, no longer here. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you wanna uh, subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment on this or any other video, hey, maybe you know where Sunrise Park disappeared to. Maybe you can tell us in the comments. So once again, thank you for joining Keith and I on this video. Thank you, Keith. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.